hi guys welcome back to our trying out at different countries national dish so today we're trying to uh, countries it's Iraq and Iraq they sound very very similar but they're different countries I think people may be considering like oh I don't think they're Asia if we're talking about regions they'll be considered under Middle East in Europe but if we're being like considering them as a continent they're being considered on their asia continent so that's why they're like that i know people may be confused but trust me i was confused too but when i did my research i understand the differences so like i said we're going to iraq and iran restaurant so without further ado let us dive into this video all right, all right. our first stop is going to be an iran restaurant so the restaurant is called sipa cats restaurant i don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but I have the name on the screen. You guys can check it out. It's on Dan Foot. So when I came in, not gonna lie, it was dead. Like there wasn't anybody there. So I knew that if I come in here, I'm not expecting to see black people here. It's gonna be more of like the people from the country. So this was uh, Iranian people that I later on saw when I sat. So it was men and it was okay. So anyway, so this is what I'm having. This is not the like they have different major national dishes but this is what i add so they have a, a shiloh kebab but this one is a different one and i add the guy help me pronounce it so it comes with the rice it comes with bread there's butter there's lemon there's parsley and i think uh lemon on it yeah i said lemon so that's what they have so which is what i will be trying out so just like I said earlier, I cannot pronounce what it's called, but you guys can just listen to the next voice note. Alright, so that's what it's called. And I just uh, tried it out. So I was like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so this, it's green because it's a lot of green stuff like spinach, I think maybe parsley and all of stuff like that. And it comes with a uh, lamp. They eat it with lamp, which is what's I am trying out so i think i don't think a muslim country eats chickens like that they eat more of like lamb sheep beef and things like that anyway so let's just dive in a little bit about iran to have an idea who they are and everything like that so they are formerly known as persians and they're most they're actually the most influential people in the world uh the culture is is a mixture of like asian pre-islamic and islamic culture so when i was trying this stuff i was like wait let me try this with the bread so i add the bread i put in the soup on it and i add some uh, parsley on it and i just squeeze a little bit of like lemon to top it up and which is good so back to what we we're seeing earlier so as students like all of us have been in school once like at a point of in our life so so the person that actually created algebra is actually an Iranian mathematician. So if you're having a problem with your algebra, yeah, it's an Iranian person that actually created that. So our problem was that. And Iran's, uh, they are actually the number one in the world in when it comes to production of pomegranates. So, which is like, wow. And you guys know dates. So they're like number two in the world when it comes to production of dates and they're number seventh in the world when it comes to production of oranges. So which is actually surprising. Like, wow, I didn't really know much about like I wasn't thinking. That's why it's always good not to judge a book by its cover because they actually produce a lot of stuff that we eat around the world. The capital is Tehran. Uh, like I said earlier, the national dish is actually shalok kebab but i went with the other one because i was like you know what let's try this and also they are very like kebab is actually like it's the most common food in iran i think it's actually very common when it comes to a lot of this like middle eastern countries anything kebab kebab so kebab is like i think it's sometimes they do with chicken and beef or something like that so it's always like on the greedy stuff like the thing that you see that rolls around when you go to all those like when you go for shawarma yeah those things are no 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 sorry it wasn't this one kebab kebab i think kebab actually the grilling stuff like it's on the this stuff oh my god i can this it's on the stick i think that's kebab <laughs> it's you can tell like i'm so confused anyway wait wait that's it no yeah yeah kebab is that one i think the rolling stuff 
I don't know. Maybe that one too is called Shawarma. No, I don't think that one is called Shawarma. For sure. No, Shawarma is not that. Oh my God, guys. Yeah, you see? Anyways, this uh, brown stuff I'm trying right now, this is a dried lemon. So they said like uh, some people love to have some taste of soury stuff. So that's why they have it, which I was actually surprised. I'm like, wow, dried lemon. To me, when I saw it, I thought it was egg. But then the guy was like, no. I said, oh, he said, I asked him, can I eat it? He said, yeah. But you just have to cut inside and take, like, you know, take out the juice. I was like, okay, because in my head, I was going to put everything in my mouth. <laughs> Thank God I didn't do that. But trust me, the sour actually eats. Anyway, so that was the Iran restaurant. It was very good. I loved it. I'm not yet to rate countries. Like, I'm not giving them rate. This is a national dishes. So I'm here to just explore, learn, and, you know, appreciate everything. So thank you guys for watching this video. I will be seeing you in the next country. Mwah!